Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you have to pick one area where ITJ has been asking question consistently, that area has to be mechanics and SHM. And where you have masses and springs and pulley, all of these things put together. And these questions are high scoring questions because if you get the concept right, you will definitely solve this properly and get the two, three, four, whatever marks is there for that question. And if you see the recent past, there are multiple questions from this area and I have been focusing and hammering on this concept because I know that if you are appearing for ITJ or any other engineering examination, you should get this concept really, really properly because ultimately these questions are there for you to get marks. Okay, it's just there on the table. So let's read out the problem. And this is a little different uh, uh, from the problem that you have been seeing and maybe you have seen some problems like this. But let's see how to approach and solve this problem. Two particles of mass m are attached to the ends of an inextensible string which hangs over a smooth pulley. Okay, so this let's say this is the string. And let's assume that the length of this string, let's say is L. Okay, let's assume this. To one of the particles A, this other particle B of mass 2m is attached by means of an elastic string of natural length A and spring constant K. Okay. If the system is supported with elastic string just unstressed, so imagine initially this string is not stretched and somehow it is the whole thing is being kept in this position and then it is released at time t equal to 0, then we need to find the acceleration with which A descends. So we need to find the acceleration for this. But frankly speaking, they could ask question uh, about acceleration for this mass also, tension in the, the string and also the how this 2m is doing SHM and all that. Okay, But let's all try to compute everything here and also answer this question, the finding the acceleration of the A. Okay, okay. so how do we approach this problem? Okay, So if you see... Just try to analyze, as I say all the time, before starting to solve the problem, just think for 10 seconds, 20 seconds and see what is going on logically. So if you think what's going on, because this 2m mass is heavier, it will try to come down and then it will pull the string and eventually it will also apply some tension on this mass. And because the overall mass here on this side is more than this side, this whole system will try to come down and this will go up. But at the same time, after some point in time, this mass will also try to go up relatively. Okay. And hence the tension will decrease in this spring. And, and then the overall acceleration of A will also decrease. So remember, if there is a SHM going on part of the system, then typically all the variables related to that or in that system will also go through SHM. Okay. And we'll see that. Okay. So first you understand what's going on. I have some little bit of clarity. Let's draw the free body diagram. That's the next step, as I say all the time. So let's take this pulley. Okay. And let's say that this mass is particle A is at this position. And let's say that this is assume that this is x okay and then this mass is somewhere a little bit up because it has traveled a little bit in the positive y direction so let's say that this distance will be l minus x okay because we assume that the total length is l and this is inextensible if you see it's given here so overall length will be constant and also assume that the mass 2m, this is B and this is C, right, is let's say at this moment, the distance from A is Y. Let's assume this, okay. And you know that natural length of this spring was A, it's given, okay. So with this, let's try to uh, give some name to the variable. Let's say the tension is T here. So here also it is T. 
let's say here it is t prime in this direction on this one it will be t prime in this direction so for mass a or m there is t here then mg is downwards t is t prime is also downward and let's say that it is going down with d2x by dt square okay because this is x so x will change for this mass hence the acceleration is d2x by dt square so this is for a if you look at c then this is t this is mg and this one will go up by d2x by dt square because the acceleration is same for both mass or you can simply say d2 l minus x so it will eventually be d2x by dt square in in the opposite direction shown by the negative sign okay so this is for mass a and mass c so let's write the equation first so mg plus t prime minus t equal to m d2x by dt square and this one is t minus mg equal to m d2x by dt square okay so if we replace the t and use the t expression here in this equation so it will become mg plus t prime minus mg minus m d2x by dt square equal to m d2x by dt square so this will cancel out and eventually what we will get is t prime as 2m d2x by dt square okay so let's box this equation okay and call this a okay let's also draw the free body diagram for b so for b it will be 2m 2mg t prime and this one is going down what do you think what should i write here so this will go down by x plus y because if you see for this mass the overall displacement is from here if this is the base is x plus y okay so this will go down by x plus y or the other way to think about it if this is going down by y then and this is going down by x so overall this will go down by x plus y okay so the equation will be 2mg minus t prime equal to 2m d2 by dt square x plus y okay so let's just use the t prime from here in question a and that is minus 2m d2x by dt square equal to 2m d2x by dt square plus 2m d2y by dt square okay so further if we simplify this this will become 2mg equal to 4m d2x by dt square plus 2m d2y by dt square we can get rid of 2m and then eventually we will have 2 d2x by dt square plus d2y by dt square and let's call this uh, question b okay now if you consider the spring okay we know that the spring is stretched by y minus a because a is the initial length natural length so the t prime is also equal to k y minus a right okay and 
if you use t prime in this equation a then we will have k y minus a equal to 2m d2 x by dt square okay so which means d2 x by dt square is k by 2m y minus a okay and we can box this as well because this is the expression for d2x by dt square and let's call this c okay now if we put this c in b or d2x by dt square in equation b then eventually we will get this 2 k by 2m y minus a plus d2y by dt square okay which means what we get here is d2y by dt square is equal to g minus k by m y minus a okay and hence d2y by dt square is if we take minus k by m as common and we'll get y and g plus k a by m okay i just rearrange this whole thing like this because this is nothing but minus omega square y minus some constant let's say a right it's it's like this okay so we get the frequency as k by n which seems familiar so this is the frequency for b okay now if this is the case then we can write y minus m by k g plus k a by m equal to let's say some constant a cos k by m t okay what i have done is i have taken let's say y minus this whole thing this whole piece m by k g plus k a by m as z okay so d2y by dt square is nothing but d2z by dt square right so therefore this will be nothing but minus omega square z hence z is a cos k by mt and if you replace z with this whole thing then that's what this equation is all about so i have directly written this one okay so then y equal to mg by k k plus a plus a cos k by m t. now a is unknown here so but we know that using boundary condition t equal to zero y is equal to a natural length which means a equal to mg by k plus a plus a t equal to zero this whole thing is one and therefore a is minus mg by k okay so eventually y is mg by k 1 minus cos k by m t plus k okay so this is the equation for y so the mass b or the 2m will follow this equation uh, when it starts moving right okay fair enough now we know that the t prime was k y minus a we found it here okay so if you see this y minus k we can write it like k mg by k 1 minus cos k by m t okay and what is t prime so t prime was 2 m d2 x by dt square right so equation a so we can write 2 m d2 x by dt square equal to mg 
1 minus cos k by n t. Okay. Therefore, d2x by dt square is g by 2 1 minus cos k by n t. Okay. Now, if you see cos theta is cos theta by 2 plus theta by 2 which is 1 minus 2 sine square theta by 2 and therefore 1 minus cos theta is 2 sine square theta by 2, right? So we can use this expression and replace this with this. So this will become g by 2 into 2 sine square k by n t. Okay, so this will be 1 by 2 here. So this is g sine square k by 4 m t. So this is the expression for the acceleration for mass a. Okay. So as you see this is pretty much like ITJE level problem, advanced ITJE level problem and probably they can ask this question in coming years. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, problem solving session. So please do subscribe to the video, like this video and share this with your friends. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and gain access to concepts and tips for doing better in ITJE or other examinations. Keep up the great work.